As you saw right there just minutes ago, Donald Trump was arraigned in a federal courtroom in Washington, D.C. Thursday night, Rick and Sherry are off. I'm Walter Perez along with Sarah Blomquist. Yeah, ju we just saw heard from the president as well. The former president calling it a sad day for America. Regardless of what you think, a historic day is the president, the former president of the United States, facing serious federal charges, many years in prison if convicted as we enter Potentially. an election cycle. Right, if convicted. Let's get over to Action News anchor Gray Hall in the Satellite Center with more on today's developments. Gray. Hey, Walter and Sarah, as you just heard, uh, the president, former president, briefly making those comments as he left that federal courtroom at the airport there. Essentially, the president saying that this is a sad day in America, saying that this should not be happening. The president also saying he feels persecuted because he is leading in the polls right now against current president Joe Biden. He's saying, quote, that if you can't beat them, then you persecute them. We do have video of earlier today as this all played out before the president made that appearance there in that federal courtroom. The former commander in chief, of course, facing a federal judge on four felony counts, including conspiracy to defraud the United States. This all stemming around allegations that he worked to overturn the 2020 presidential election. The courthouse where today's proceedings took place sitting within sight of the U.S. Capitol, the very place Trump supporters attacked on January 6th, 2021 in an effort to stop Congress from certifying Democrat Joe Biden's election victory. You should know that this is the third criminal case filed against the former president this year, but it is the first one to try to hold him criminally responsible for his efforts to cling to power in the weeks between his election loss and the Capitol attack. The Republican former president was the only person charged in this case, but prosecutors referenced six unnamed co-conspirators, mostly lawyers that they say plotted with the former president. We also learned today that the next hearing is scheduled for August August 28th. If he is convicted, the former president facing years in prison. Of course, this is a case that we will continue to watch as it continues to develop. Live in the Satellite Center, Gray Hall, Channel 6, Action News. Walter. All right. Thank you, Gray.